Hi everyone, Unibasada Lewis Pope here, also known as Unholy Peter. Or is it Unholy Peter, also known as Lewis Pope? Today, I'm gonna to show you something a little bit different. I'm not gonna be making a pizza. I'm not gonna be making anything food related at all. But instead, I'm actually gonna show you how to build and set up your Uni modular table. Uni sell two versions, and this is the medium. They also do it with large. The setup in the medium compared to the large are exactly the same. So what you see in this video, you will be able to replicate with the large table as well. This table itself is just under 25 kilograms, um, but for more information about this table and the large table, you can find that out over at uni.com. So let's get this opened. When you're unboxing this, you need to make sure the printed side of the box is this way up. These are what will form the shelves for the, the bottom and the middle shelf. And this uh, is well on the shelves, uh, the frames. You've got your instructions and you have your fixing kit. And another shelf frame. And these are your uprights and all the legs of the table. In this little box are the casters, two of which will have locks on them. And lastly, we have top frame and the stainless steel top. So when position the frames, there are actually four positions that you can have them on. Well, in this video, I'm actually gonna put a, a shelf right at the bottom. Um, and I'm probably gonna go for another one, maybe about the third hole up. You can really set this whichever way that you want. Okay, so we're gonna start to attach the legs onto the, the shelf. Uh, frame. You'll know which is the bottom and the middle shelf frame. They'll have a corner uh, missing from it. That's where the uprights will attach to. An important thing just to bear in mind is that on the uprights you will find two kind of brass looking screw holes. That's where the corner brackets are going to attach to. You need to ensure that they are facing um, inwards. When attaching them you can use the supplied allen key but I'm just going to speed this up by using a little electric screwdriver. Okay, so now on to the next. Okay, the bottom frame. And now we're gonna just flip this over and we're going to install the next two uprights. Okay, so they're the uprights now fixed in place. I'm now gonna put the top shelf on. So again, as I mentioned before, uh, you've got these brass uh, screw holes. They need to be facing inwards, and that's what's gonna to help to secure the whole table itself. But we're going to attach the top frame. And then we're now using the shorter bolts to attach the top frame. Now that the top frame is in place, we're now going to attach the corner brackets. We're going to attach it first of all to the uprights and then secure it from the top frame. You just need to ensure that when attaching the brackets that the flat side is flush with the rest of the frame. You don't want it to look like that. Another key thing just to look out for as well, that the two holes, which have got the slight indentations, they need to be facing upwards because these are threaded and that's what the bolts from the top are going to secure onto. So there's no nuts required for this. Don't do it too tight at the side. We want a bit of slack because when we then attach it from the top, we're going to tighten that all the way. Okay, so that's the majority of the frames now been built. We're now going to flip this round and attach the wheel casters to the bottom. At the front of the table, I'm going to have both of the casters with the locks on them right at the front. Best way I find is just spin that round and then when it's tight enough with your fingers, get the supplied little spanner and then just tighten that. That's not going anywhere. Okay, so now it's to attach the accessory hook. You can, depending on which way you need to access things, but this can go either at the very front or at the side. There's a soft tightening nut that comes with that. There's a little bit of um, a raised side. That's gonna be the top. There we go. Okay, so then putting the shelves in. What you want is the bars that are running diagonally across the on top. Put 
The final piece is the stainless steel top, which just fits on top. And there we have it. Only modular table. And you can lock the casters down at the bottom. And that's not going to go anywhere. 